I'm not saying that a mask at times isn't appropriate. I'm not saying that. But there are a lot of people who put a lot of stock in a mask. I was at Dunkin' Donuts the other day. This lady, she had this mask. Can you imagine me preaching in one of these? Actually, you don't have to imagine because you're seeing me preaching one. She gets me a donut because the donut was free. I just want to, I got a coffee. And I said, what's the best value? Because I'm a pastor. So, of course, I say, what's the best value? And she says, of course. So it's the large. I said, okay, well, I'll take a large. She says, that comes with a free donut. What would you like? Brother, do you think I was going to say no? So, and she's got her gloves on. And she's very, very sweet, very polite. And she says, can I help? The, how, what, um, okay, so you want, you, want, you want your coffee. Okay, good. Just creamer, is that right? And she's, she's doing this. You realize that that is right up against her mouth, right? She takes my card which was in my pocket, in my hand. And then she continues to put the drink together and gets my donut. And she kept tugging at her face mask. Do, do you guys, and then, you know, they do this. And this is where people put their safety. This, this here is what people, people are putting their trust in. People are putting their trust there. You know what they're also trusting? They're trusting being socially distant. They're saying, well, as long as I stay away from people, they're trusting isolation. They're trusting the government. And God knows we're just trusting the government to come up with a vaccine. Because as soon as they have a vaccine, everything is back to normal, right? And you know what God is saying? He's saying that I wish people would just trust me. Just like Peter who said, Lord, save me. He didn't say the government save me. He didn't say the mask save me. Lord, save me. But when he saw the wind boisterous, when he saw the, the circumstances around him, that's when he began to fear. He was not fearful. When he had his eyes on the Lord, he takes his eyes off God. He notices everything around him. He notices CNN and NBC and ABC and all of these other things. And I, I'm just telling you, I think we watch a little too much news. I think we're, we're so concerned with everything else going on around us, we are not fixed on the one who can save us, which is God. And when we, when we look around at all of the circumstances and the world is coming down and the, the virus is getting, it, it's, it's growing in every area and, 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 uh, and, and what about the economy and what about my family and what about the school and what about all this stuff and you know what, we forget to say, Lord, save He's the only one that can really help us.